This is a light whoosh stick here. It makes sound. Here. So, you know, just uh, consider this as a, what is it, light, uh, a lightsaber. Okay. Okay? And you are a Jedi. Okay. So when you swing this, wang, 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 instead of wang, wang, wang here, it gives you a whoosh sound. Again here, the goal is to move the ball around the body instead of moving your hands in early. So, so use the wrist actively and then really release, release both of this. Yep. Yep. And then so at the end of the action, your goal is to have a good wind and the goal is slight reverse field touch. Remember, this is a triangular space. So here, when you extend this side, then uh, slight reverse field touch. Yep. Let go, throw, throw, throw. Again, it's all it's just a matter of the feeling, yeah. the motion of the end of the stick. Now, so this is a bit easy because it's a light. Now let's go for a bit more challenging one here. Anything that gives a wish sound, I like. Okay. Unfortunately, this one does not give the wish sound. Now, this is a mid-size orange wheel. It's well balanced here. That's why I like it. I don't like uh, those with a really heavy head. But this is heavier than all this. It also is a uh, reason <coughs> flexible. But here, what the important thing is that you have to wait as draw to the weight that this is complete instead of rushing. So you have to minimize bending. If the head goes this way and you try to already go that way, that will create bending here, right? So wait until this is completed and draw. Wait and draw. Because this is heavier, so you have to use a short, good shoulder turn. Mm -hmm. Give a bit faster back swing. Yep. From the wider position, let it go in one action. One action. So here, the idea is in the back swing, you wind up in the weight and in one action, unleash. <coughs> Faster back swing. Mm. Yeah, now you're handling. You're handling all these a lot better. <laughs> so and it's particularly important to play with the different things yeah. that has different weights and different characteristics. And finally, let's go to your club. Now this is a lot rigid here. So then you lose that uh, you know, yeah, flexibility here then you have to still pay attention to motion of the club. Swing back and forth continuously. And then have the feel of uh, releasing it. Throw, throw. Throw the head. Yes, yes. Ooh. Yes, yes. Now you have a lot freer throwing action here. You are releasing it. And when you release, then what happens is that your left leg is pushing the ground well here. So instead of holding here and then try to uh, swing hard, you're actually standing on the leader side nicely. And your finish position is a lot better now. Yeah. Again, swing back and forth. Feel the rhythm. So there's a sticker on the head. You, you want to shake it off by releasing. Wind up, let it go, wind up, let it go. <coughs> so let me uh, record this. Okay, ready, go.
Yep. And the one thing uh, I want to show you here. Also, part of the reason why you cannot use the shoulder that well at the beginning of dancing is you're dropping the clip head uh, a bit too much. Now, let's, let's uh, take a look at the flexing pad here. So uh, here, the, the clip is aligned this way. It's uh, dropping backward here. Remember, in your wrist motion, I said you have early uncocking followed by recocking. Mm -hmm. That's because of the dropping this, dropping the clip head. Okay? And then bring the club more along the shoulder line. Along the shoulder line. So, no, so uh, on the way back, go to the top. And then instead of dropping this this way, try to keep it more this way. Okay. Now, this swing, uh, the club is a parent to the swing. When this happens, you can easily just to go down here. But when the, this is dropped slightly backward here, mm -hmm. the only way down you cannot just let it go. You have to turn around. So this causes a trouble. So keep the head a bit higher. Keep the head a bit higher. So what happens is you are throwing the club head this way here, simply reverse the direction and then let it go. So uh, let's do this. So go to the top. Your goal is to move the club head about here. Can you see the club head here? Mm -hmm. So this is the target position. Okay. Try to bring the club at this position here, instead of uh, dropping back here, right here. So when you swing this way, so you can uh, use, uh, you can define the plane here, plane of motion. And then at the top, again, you are going to a dead position here. So try to have overall, the whole plane is well connected here. And instead of dropping this here, try to keep it more this way. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And then let's uh, make a back swing more, more uh, active. So throw the clip head. Don't worry about how far the clip head goes in the back swing. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And then also when you start the back swing from there, so after finishing the, the down swing, when you start back swing, instead of going up here, just follow the same plane. So overall maintain similar plane back and forth. So when, when you have a good swing plane, then you don't need much off plane motion here. Pretty much is moving along the plane here, the single plane here. All you do is just reverse the direction and then throw, reverse the, the direction and throw, reverse the direction and throw. So basically you're moving along the same plane here. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. So keep, uh, use the wrist more actively and they have the feel of releasing both ways. From here, that way, and then in the downswing as well. So use your wrist actively, feel the releasing motion both ways. Uh, the head is dropping in the back swing. No, no, it's too, too low, bring it a bit higher. Yeah, that line is good. Yes. Ah, uh, it's uh, getting, getting down, getting lower. Yeah, bring it, bring it a little bit higher here, along the shoulder line. Mm -hmm. 
and then still still um, at the beginning of the bouncing, you are not using the shoulder that way here. So look at this. Go up here and then this action. With this throw. You are just turning here and then still try to use the, the arm here. Still you are releasing better, however still you have tendency of using the arms. So from the, again let's go, go to the top. I will hold the club head, go to the top. So there, if I hold the club here, so this is the line here. And bring your hands a bit higher. Okay. Now this is the line, and try to use your shoulder turn, using the body, try to pull this down. Use the body, use the body at the beginning. Or actively, have a bit of motion here. Let's say so. Yeah, this motion. So with this, instead of just the head is the only turning, you have to use the shoulder turn to try to pull this down. Pull this down. Uh, stronger, stronger pull here. Mm, you are strong guy, pull it hard, pull it hard. No, you just turn your pelvis. <laughs> no need to turn this pelvis that much. Keep it here, keep it here, just to turn. Pull this, yes, yes. Turn the shoulder and then pull, yeah. This is what you need. So instead of when you start, instead of going here, rather you need this motion. Yeah, and then throw with the one action. Let it go. <clears throat> but you have uh, the tendency <clears throat> of this motion here. <coughs> so this is this is the, this pull is not as strong. <coughs> so use good shoulder turn at the beginning. Mm. And then also here, so the the image is your body is turned this way. Your belly toward target here, right? You should create a lot of motion here while the shoulder is still closed, while the back is toward target. You should have good action here before the body shoulders open here. <coughs> then continue this motion. Instead of try to open the pelvis early, yeah, with the body closed, with your back toward target, there try to have good motion there. Coming down. Hmm. Yes, yes. That's how you start early, early acceleration. Because you are wasting this space here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then try to open and then arm action here. Is that? Hmm. So image, uh, image that you, you are in a gym and then you have a wire running, you handle your wire running this way the weight is attached. So you're pulling the wire down. <coughs> yeah. So a lot of things should happen. So if this is wire here, a lot of things should happen here at the beginning of the downswing. <coughs> uh, this is not with using the arms or use the body, the whole body. To try to, to try use the shoulder turn. Ooh, and the body turn here. With that, you're pulling down, down. But that way you can have early action. Instead of this, opening here. This is uh, not no good. So because because of that I am having my hand here. Try not to, uh, yeah. to not, I don't want to allow you to turn your pelvis here. So using the shoulder turn and then pull at the beginning of the bouncing. So with that you can have a good acceleration here and then continue this and then let it go. Is there of Try to open early and then use arms here. So again. Yep. Kick the ground and stand, and then kick the ground, and then at the end stand on the lead side. Stand on the lead side. Yes, yes, like that, like that. Yep. Yes. So by standing on the little side, you're pushing the ground good and then let it go. So always uh, how you start the downswing is important here. So again, have the image of 
from here. Let it go. Let it go instead of this motion. This gives that large bouncing stretch. Yeah. So slow down this. Instead, try to turn the whole body, particularly the shoulder. Yeah. You have to use the legs to, to, to turn the body. Yes, yes. In bone action. And then one thing you have to practice a lot is this, using the right arm only. So hold it uh, here. And then fold the right arm here. Keep it close to the body. But using the right arm only here. Throw, throw, throw. Using this action here. Your dropping is too much. Because you drop here, oh, okay. you lose the grip strength here. So maintain, just to keep going this way. Using the momentum, you keep going. You are here, a bit higher here. Then, using the body turn and bring this down. But if you drop this back here, at the beginning, you cannot really start the motion activity. You have to maintain it a bit higher position here. That's the problem with the excessive layoff. And then, so this is all about the clubhead motion, right? So then, draw a line here. You're moving the clubhead along this line. Continue. You are here, coming down here, using this line. This is the 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 path of the clubhead motion. And in doing this, your arm shouldn't be obstructed by the body. If you keep it a bit too low, then it collides here. So you have to have a free arm here. Swing. Swing. Swing, swing. And don't ever open the pelvis early. Using the whole body, try to throw the clip head best. Do not drop the clip too much. Ah, here, bring a bit high. And then, ooh, your arm should not go far out here. Hold him, tight him. Because when you use two arms, it goes here. Mm -hmm. You'll never be able to bring the arm back here. Yeah, keep it, keep the arm tight. Ah, uh, it's dropping too much, it's dropping too much. The clip head is dropped too much, so, the clip, so with that, the clip head has to go more this way, more this way. Okay, instead of back here. Okay. Yeah, you're dropping it too much. That's why you have early uh, uncocking followed by recocking. Ah, dropped already, dropped already. So you have a uh, habit here. Try to keep uh, the clip a little bit low here. But again, if this is the, the plane you want to move, and then let the clip go along that path. Right here. So with that, swing, swing along this path here. And then throw the clip along the path that you are here. This arrow, thank you. Here, you, you cannot swing that hard. So here. <coughs> So you have to maintain the clip head along the shoulder line here, about here, instead of dropping it. When you drop, it's hard to use the shoulder well. So use both hands, both hands. Let's go slowly, slowly up here. So here, about here. From here, you, when you, as you start, turn the shoulder, turn the shoulder, turn the shoulder, let it go. Yes, yes. Then nothing will obstruct the motion of the, your arm. So now, now let's go to uh, the so-called stage three of two step swing grids. So with your regular stance, always start the swing with this trigger motion. Throw the head here. Again, the key is the head motion. 
<coughs> throw the head and then yeah, just that thing. So here. Mm -hmm. So using the trigger motion, have active back swing. And then using active back swing, you have automatically uh, you have uh, active down swing. Again. Uh, and then you are stopping a little too much at the top. So it should be continuous. So here, if this is lightsaber, you are Jedi, instead of having wang, wang motion here, wang, wang. Yes, yes, yes. Connect to the back of the down. Yes. Oh, now your motion is a lot simpler. So using the trigger motion, have good back swing, test the back swing. With that, you have enough wider. And, wing. Again. Again. Yes, now the flow is a lot better. So give me three cycles. I will record this and show you. Okay. Okay, ready, go. Mm -hmm. Yes, one more. Go. Mm -hmm. Yes, and one more. The overall motion is really simple. Thing. Now you are more aware of the clear head motion. Let's go back to your initial swing here. Put it in the back swing here. So you tend to use the rigid, rigid wrist here and then try to lift the clear head a little bit in the back swing. Now with the, this pattern here, you are really letting the clear head go here. The motion is a lot simpler because now you are letting the clear head go. Instead of try to a rigid wrist and then try to dictate the motion of the club. You are letting it go now. Mm -hmm. So you are a lot more uh, club head aware now. So all you do is then develop this rhythm and then just the reverse the direction and throw hard. Mm -hmm. So when you connect the back swing to down swing, then that's it. So now, as you swing, let's do this. BJ sing. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> or let's do this. Ooh, Jumian, go. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. So that BJ or Jumian, that's an exaggeration. Yeah. With the uh, with that you have a uh, mature yeah, yeah, yeah. backswing here, yeah, yeah, yeah. but not. Pause. Continue the motion. Mm, and then connect it to the downstream. Again. So in order to have an active action, the trigger should be also rhythm. Ooh. Use the body. Yes, yes. Again. Let's make uh, the trigger a bit bigger. Yep. At uh, this time, it was a bit pause, so uh, can you just connect. Jumyeon, go! Again. Jumyeon, go! Yes, yes, yes. Now, you are, you are not dragging, you are letting the clever go, so the motion pad is a lot simpler. Now, so again, give me three cycles. Say, say that, uh, you know, internally. Uh, either Jumyeon or PJ sing whatever that is. Okay, ready, go. Mm -hmm. Yes. So with this flow, with this flow. Mm-hmm. 
Yes. It's just a continuous motion. You're simply just reversing the direction here. Now again, if we go back to your initial down the line here. So this is not that impressive. You just go here. But this gives a lot more rhythm. See? So practice this rhythm a lot. And then the rope swing will help. Actually, rope will help you quite a bit, you know, to, to develop the feel of releasing it, right? Yes. And then, so use the rope and to find something light like this yes. that can give you a, a you know, audio uh, feedback. And then use something heavier. So you can use anything. This is yours. So keep practicing the rhythm. So you need to really take advantage of what you have. Yeah, yeah. Currently, you're putting a lot of effort, but not uh, you know, catching uh, you know, what you have that, that, that way. So, and the one thing you have, you, one thing you have to avoid is dropping the clip head back too much. Intentional layoff or, uh, what is it, shallowing. That actually prohibits uh, from, you know, you were swinging hard on the down earlier. Mm -hmm. Because it's a drop that here, so it's hard to have active motion. When the clip head goes all the way here, it's way behind you here. Then you can start maintain the tension and then start this motion early and then let it go. But if it's dropped this way here, if you try to turn, you cannot develop tension yeah, yeah. that way. Yeah. So it should not drop the curve head. So image this plane here. Image this plane. You're moving it along this plane all the way. Just simply reverse the direction and then let it go. Also, you have to do a lot here instead of. Yeah. And then ultimately what you have developed is the trail hip, it tends to go backward quite a bit right now. But this has to go more upward here. So then stand up and then let it go this way here. Turn here, then you can have easy uh, reverse view posture. But because this is going backward, you are slightly sitting down here. Because then you cannot use the right leg at the beginning of the downswing. But if you have a good support from the right leg, you can start the down swing with the active uh, right leg action. Okay. So try to bring the hip higher instead of going backward a lot. So actually, you don't need to turn a lot that way. You are turning too much. So it's just enough to bring the club along this plane here. That's enough instead of going too much. If you turn too much, then you're actually moving away from the swing plane. So stick, stick to the swing plane here, okay? Instead of dropping this head going flat. Yeah. And then that way you can keep the head a bit higher, yeah. but it's not going this far, right? So uh, no crossover, but no intentional layoff here. And then just to follow this plane and the enough back swing from there, reverse the direction and then let it go in one action. Okay? Yeah. Okay. okay.